What it be, you sexy motherfucker? This is Snake. Welcome back to Persona 3. Fucking even sexy. Oh, skimmy nigga. Edition. Uh, part 90, I think this is. God, we're getting old now. Fuck. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? Fuck, this summer's being crazy, man, with them mosquitoes and shit. I didn't even know we had mosquitoes in England until I was, like, fucking... 20. Yeah, that's how ignorant I am to these motherfuckers. But last night there was literally seven of these dudes keeping me up till 3 a.m. just buzzing. And you know how they be buzzing them high that hype is See that's not their wings beating, son. That's not because I listen carefully, right? Because they they only make this noise whenever I fucking turn off my light and I start to get half sleepy. So you know when you like start tripping shit when you're like half days, like you wake up and like you open your eyes and, and you see like some random shit there and it like fucks with you and then it's gone, it's, it's gone, you know? <laughs> and that, that's when these bastards start, start wanting to fucking flap their little micro wings and shit but that's not the noise they make, man, that's them talking to you and I heard them, I heard them say Nick, I'm gonna eat you in your sleep and that's what, that's what, that's what that noise is, it scares the shit out of me, right? so every time I go to sleep now, I got my fucking when shit gets serious sheets, you know, sheets of paper ready to fucking just slap them against the wall and stuff, you know, slap the buzz out of them bugs. Fucking hate them, man. For when they want to feel like, you know, it's time to dine on some dick, slap their shit. What's up, guys? Part 90 of Persona. I hope you're having a great summer and I hope you're looking forward to this session. I don't know what's gonna happen! My stupid ass, um, came up with this. I, I thought I had to do Tartarus today because we had that whole week in Yakushima. And, um, uh, to, I went to go to, to, cause you know how I like do the two hour Tardos grind and then like we continue with the story. Well, I was about to go to Fuku and say, yo bitch, let's get in Tardos. And she's like, I don't want to, I'm tired. That was like, what? I just wasted a whole day thinking, oh, I've got to do two hours of grind Tardos. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And I could have just recorded a session yesterday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is what I did. I was like, bzz, 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 bzz. hey, fuck, what's up? Want to go with Tardos? And she's all like, nah, nigga, I'm sleepy. So I was like, oh, fuck! <laughs> and I like, cause I left it until like really late at night, cause I was gonna like do the Tartarus grind, then go to Smeeps. And uh, and she just pulled that shit, and I was like, well, fuck, I guess I'm gonna like watch some shit and, until I get tired then. Fucking Akigo is fisting his goddamn gloves. What the fuck are you trying to do in him gloves, man? What, what, what new can you do to them? A lot of people are joining the team now. So much different than before. I'm no longer the big macho guy. Angst. Sup, I guess. These are your lodging quarters. Very well. I shall be by your side at all times. Fuck, man, you a stalker. She is still far from passing as human. It seems she is unable to understand ordinary feelings and conversation at the moment. <laughs> if she were able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. Oh, no way. She has like her own like, like, arcana card thingy. I can do that. I can do that. What's up, Akutsuki? Hmm, is there something you'd like to know about? I guess, yeah, like, like everything because this is like, you know, like a fucking, did you hear that? Listen. I don't know if you can hear that. That's the ice cream truck, nigga. I was tempted to turn this fucking game off for a second then. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, professionalism. Where are the others? I assume you're referring to the other anti-shadow weapons. Well, they, um, they, were, they were many created, you could say. They were Aegis' sisters. However, they were all destroyed ten years ago in the incident. You know, Akutsuki, I've been speculating on this, man. And I don't know if I'm, like, too cool with you right now. Because like, you're like this top professor dude with this high-tech laboratory. You're telling me you got this fucking anti-shadow nigger tank that can cause explosions out of vagina and shit. And then you act like this retarded fool who can't even count to ten who tells bad jokes. That doesn't add up, man. Something ain't right about you. I don't know. You just, you just rubbing my fur the wrong way today, man. Something just ain't right. Something just ain't right. He's gathering up all these kids with the special power, man. It's like they're not even coming to say, Hey, I've got some weird stuff and I seek help. He's looking for these people and then he forces them to join this organization that completely fucks their mentality. They put guns to their head every day. I don't know, Kutsuki. Maybe I'm just like going crazy, but I don't know. Something ain't right here, man. I guess it's been quite lonely since then. Well, shit! I just told myself that she can't feel or understand human emotion, but yet she knows what lonely's like. 
I don't know what to make of this! Uh, is there something you'd like to know? Yes, uh, why is she in human form? Well, I say human, like, half robot donkey thing, because she got, like, them metal hooves going on for feet. What's all that about? Tell me about that. Personas are created from human minds, so the plan was to place a human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was the form the weapon would take. The form of the weapon was a tank, for instance. The weapon's mind would not recognize itself, well, would recognize itself as a tank. However, a tank is not a living entity. This is crucial, you see, because the mind of a non-living entity will not process human thoughts correctly. So, it will not function properly, and it will soon become corrupted. What, like she is right now, thinking she knows me and wants to be by my dick all the time? However, a mind placed inside a form that closely resembles a human half-donkey will recognize itself as a human being, thus allowing it to easily adapt to human thoughts. Therefore, Aikis and her sisters were built in the form of human beings. I see. Hmm. Yes! One more thing! How come she knows me? What's all that about? I don't know. Perhaps it is simply a glitch in her human recognition programming. Regardless, it's nothing to concern you, so- Hey! Fucking shove that shit off, man! That, this is important information! I smell a plot twist! I smell it! It don't smell nice! Oh no, Kutsuki, I got my blue eyes on you, man. I got them fixed on your, your manly, your manly locks. And your awesome hush puppies. Right, what's up, Mitsuru? Hmm, an anti-shadow weapon! That would be a most welcome addition! Most souvenirs are worthless. I have lots of money, snow globes, keychains, postcards, golden statues. However, this is one souvenir from Yakushima that is trans -bien. Dude, come on, man. Let's not treat her like she's some sort of fucking artifact. I mean, yeah, she ain't like all people -y, but you know, I'm, I'm guessing that we're gonna like try and treat her as a person at least. <laughs> but no, not Mitsuru. She's just a expensive toy. <laughs> Do you think anyone will be able to tell that she's a robot? I'm guessing she's like because the only part that closely resembles a person is her head. The rest, she's got a really fucking long giraffe neck. Uh, um. She kind of has donkey hooves, she's made out of metal, so, so whenever she walks it sounds like, I don't know, you're clanking two tins of baked beans together or something, so yeah, probably they're gonna suspect something. I don't! I mean, you'd really have to be looking for a robot to figure that out! Okay. As long as she acts normal, no one suspects a thing. She can't construct a simple, fluent sentence! You are a fool! They're gonna be on to us! What's up, Junpei? She's cute, huh? I don't think I've ever met a machine that was so cute before. Except that Henry Hoover one time. Uh, dude. It's fucked up. Wait, uh, how's my how's my status? I think I fucking did I did I go to the bathroom and like take a massive poopsie? What the fuck is that persona I got? Holy shit! I don't even know. <laughs> Pinwheel titties. Right, um. What, what am I? I'm good. Okay, so can I like become great? It's the men's restroom. Go in. Junpei comes in with his Henry Hoover. Let's make some memories. Okay. Are we great? Are we Tony the Tiger? Shit! Well, I'm going to bed. Actually, no, we're going outside, man, because we fucking thug life rebel going out past our bedtime and all that business. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great time. Like, whoa, messy motherfuckers with all these drink cans and shit. Yeah, damn. Oh, are they flowers? Oh, they, those look. Those, see, those look like flowers. These look like cans. Messy, yet pretty. I like it. Alright, let's go out. I have no idea what this chick is saying in this song, but it's so fucking good, man. Alright, so let's go to the only more. What can we do at night again? Oh yeah, we can like punch moles and stuff, can't we? And watch scary shit. Because it's always a good idea at night time. Go out and watch scary shit and try and walk home. You ever done that, man? I have. It's fucked up. Watch scary movies and then like go walk home. And because I live in like the woods, I have to walk through fields and shit, pitch black. What's up? You in a suit! At night time! My. Your hands. Ah! What the fuck? Perfect for the company image. And there's my new gimp. Money's just a high school student. If I trained him though, groomed him, made him my sex baby. 
man seems to be mumbling to himself. Ugh! You seem to have caught his attention because of your charm? Hello there, young man. Hello, young. How would you like to have your dreams come true? In my wet dreams, I have a golden opportunity for you. Would you like to have a golden shower? Ugh. I have a feeling that if I ask you to tell me more, I will be walking home like I've been riding a horse for two hours. If I say I'm not interested, I have a feeling you're going to stab me in the ass anyway. Maybe I can be polite and leave on when his guard's down. Tell me more, but be gentle. <sighs> I'm only saying this to you, so don't tell anyone, okay? Especially your parents. We don't want adults involved. I can make you rich, guaranteed. All you need is 20,000 yen and a shaved bum. Your investment will multiply by 10, no, 100. And the best part is, you'll never see the light of day. I mean, you don't have to do a thing. You become fabulously wealthy while you sleep. Just give me the 20,000 yen and I'll take care of the rest. <sighs> I'll take care of it. Well, what do you say? Yeah. See, now, do I really want to give over 20,000 yen? Uh, no. No, really. You pass up the chance to become rich. That's what you want. That is what I want, good sir. Good day. That was some fucked up shit. Game panic. Various arcade games are inside. Will you stay here until midnight? Uh, yeah. Right now the games available are Print Club and Punching Bag. Hmm. See now that man's got me interested, even though yes I gave him quite a bit of a weird uh, <laughs> personality there. Um the twenty thousand yen, like how much money do we have? Let's have let's just find out how much money we have first. Oh wow! Jesus! We're rich! We are we're already rich! Okay, 20,000 yen, I can I can spare that. So yeah, let's just let's just go with it. Let's just see what he has to say. <sighs> have you thought about what I told you last time? Because I have I think about it all the time. You can a fortune by investing just 20,000 yen. All you have to do is hand over the money. That's your main opportunity. Well, what do you say? Okay. You gave the man 20,000 yen. I'll be in touch <laughs> once your fortune has been made. What the fuck? I have a feeling like I've just opened a dirty door to a place I do not want to go into. I feel like a fool for doing this. <laughs> oh well! Power panic, let's get my strength up! What did the print club do? Was Did that increase my charm? I think we're already charmtastic already. We're like fucking prince charming. No, we're king charming up in this bitch, aren't we, right now? I think we've got like full charm. The only thing we haven't got is full courage. Oh, and one way from education. The punching bag. Fuck yeah, we'll go with that. You showed the machine what you could dish out. Your persona strength is crushed. Nice. It's getting late. So I go to the dorm before the old man in the suit tries to fish you. I got some OJ because, oh man, hopefully now I fixed the um, I fixed the uh, little little echo thing you might be able to hear. I f I've hopefully fixed that now. See, I was doing a lot of testing today, and I and I had a cup of tea in my hand. Oh, I did such a stupid thing. And, I, and I've been reading these books lately that, fuck it, oh man, I'm just so upset. And when I, when I checked back to see if it did the echo anymore, it didn't. And I had like a eureka moment and I was like, yeah, just threw my shit everywhere. There's fucking tea on the ceiling, fucking all over my table with my books and shit, my, my games. And, oh, I fucking had a mental breakdown, man. I went through like three towels drying that shit up. It was a big fucking cup of tea. But I replaced it with some uh, soul repairing OJ. What will you do? I will study because I need to get my smarts on because that test was disgusting. and Mitsu's gonna like give me a fucking red booty hole for doing so. I don't even want the results. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. 
color at me, dude. Yes! You are fucking kidding me! Oh, I'm a genius! They call me Ein fucking Stein! Oh! You've studied enough with- Wait. So we were just one studying away from getting full academics before the fucking test! Oh!